Now, there are many constitutional issues uh, relating to Article 112C and Part 4, Item 21 of the 10 Schedule in relation to Sabah's 40% special grant. From 1969 onwards, there was, there was no longer mention of such segregation. This is due to the grant review pursuant to the PUA 328-1970. It's not clear to me why the Article 112D reviews were stopped. Could it be because of the 1969 emergency? If so, that is legally questionable. Secondly, was it an agreement between the parties? Article 112D allows the parties to agree on the alteration or abolition of any of those grants. However, and this is important, this requires a formal order by the Yangdi Pertwanagong. The constitution cannot be set aside by a mere political or administrative arrangement. If there is a unilateral declaration by any one party that the 40% provision is no more applicable, that has no legal effect. What needs to be done for an amicable settlement? First of all, all factions within Sabah must unite to adopt a common front. Negotiation with the federal government must be reopened under Article 112D. I think that's a constitutional right. But it must be mutual. It can't be a unilateral uh, decision. An independent assessor under 112D is required by the constitution if no agreement can be reached. The federal government should be invited, perhaps by Sabah Saravak, to seek an advisory opinion of the federal court under Article 130. What will be very important is that Sabah Saravak judges must be represented on the federal court. In the very last resort, Sabah can go to court to recover monies not paid to it since 1973.